Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. If you're into PS3 gaming on Android, you're in the right place. Here, I cover everything about the RPCSX emulator, from how to download and set it up, to finding the best settings for smooth performance. Plus, I'll be showing real gameplay footage so you can see how your favorite title run on mobile. To download RPCSX, visit their official GitHub page. Link will be in description. Your device must be on at least Android 10 for this to work. Scroll down and tap on the Releases section. On the next page, under Assets, tap on the RPCSX APK file release of the latest update and download the file into your device. And once the APK file is downloaded successfully, simply install the app and launch it. Allow some time for complete installation process to get over. Wait for a while on this screen, while some resources gets downloaded. Next, let's is set up, RPCSX. From the home page, tap on this menu icon. You can see there is no PS3 firmware installed, so to install one, just launch your browser and type PS3 firmware, and on the search results page, visit this official PlayStation website as shown. If you are still with me, please like and subscribe to my channel. Scroll down to the page, and you will find an option which says, update using a computer. Tap on it and download the PS3 update file into your device. I will pass, as I already have the file downloaded. Next, just go back to RPCSX and tap on Firmware option, and simply locate the PS3 update file and import the same to the app. The firmware is being imported, and the app will close automatically. Just relaunch the app, and as you can see, we have successfully imported the firmware, which is version 4.9.2. Before importing games, please know that it supports ISO and PKG file formats only. So to import any game, tap on the plus icon and navigate to the location where you have game files. As you can see, I have the Tekken's ISO file. Simply tap on it to import the game. And one thing to mention is that you may also require RAP file of the game as well. Once the game is imported, the app will force close itself. But just relaunch the app. And as you can see, the game is imported successfully. But before you start playing, let's cover the some best optimized settings of RPCSX. If you want the best performance on the RPCSX emulator for Android, start by setting PPU threads to 2, which helps balance performance and stability. Then, in VFS settings, adjust the disk cache maximum size to 512 megabytes or 1 gigabyte to improve asset loading and reduce stutters. For rendering, always choose Vulkan over OpenGL, as it performs better on most Android devices. Lowering the resolution to 720p or even 480p can give a significant FPS boost, especially on mid-range phones. Set the frame limit up to 120 for smoother gameplay, though most games will hover around 60. Enable VSync only if you see screen tearing, otherwise leave it off to minimize input delay. Turn on right color buffers only for games with visual glitches. Disable it if everything looks fine to save resources. Under Vulkan settings, go to custom drivers and enable turbo mode for an extra speed boost. Keep resolution scale at 100% for best quality, but lower it for better performance on weaker hardware. If you're using external devices, configure your input output settings to support keyboard and mouse properly. For online features, tweak your net settings accordingly. When saving your progress, always choose the compatible save state mode to avoid corruption or crashes. Lastly, if your phone has a Snapdragon processor, enable custom GPU drivers for even better performance and download a custom drivers other than the default one. And covering the gameplay, I tested Tekken 6 on the RPCSX emulator for Android. Right out of the box, the game was playable, but I did notice some lag, especially during stage intros and certain moves with heavy effects. The frame rate dipped a bit in larger arenas, which is normal for mobile devices running PS3 games. But after tweaking a few settings, which I showed earlier, like enabling SPU loop detection, setting the resolution scale to 100%, and locking the frame rate to 30, the gameplay became much smoother. The lags were reduced a lot, and the overall experience felt stable and enjoyable. For a game like Tekken 6 running on a phone through RPCSX, the performance is honestly impressive after those changes. It's fully playable and still a lot of fun. Definitely worth trying if you're into fighting games on the go. Next, if you want to learn about side loading using Feather App, watch my next video.